for somebody who's new to hear about fuel brains give us a one line description fuel brains i can describe as a strategic enabler uh, in biofuel space of india uh, who is doing value creation at different uh, modes of uh, biofuel supply chain be it from procurement of feed stock up to you know sale of finished good like uh, ethanol or biodiesel what gap did you see when you started this see when we saw this market or uh, you know if you go 10 years back uh, majority it was like fragmented supply chain there were some minor issues on the feed stock procurement uh, fulfillment of uh, you know various commitments on compliance for current or you know your quality front and all we saw an opportunity there and uh, we just jumped into it what do you think about current consumer sentiment towards blending suddenly it's taken a uh, quite a turn uh, not as such see, uh, because you know consumption will keep on going uh, we are developing nation maybe right. going forward we will have that options where you know you can choose your ethanol blend like brazilian right. model where you can choose what blend of ethanol you want so since your inception to now right let's say all the ethanol you have helped get out from a factory to the street how much of a environmental impact you have created the ethanol what we have enabled uh, or supplied uh, from a manufacturer's facility to the end consumer uh, it's uh, equivalent to like 230 million kg uh, of carbon, of carbon reduction, reduction. Yes. or if i have to put it more uh, better way it is as good as planting 1 million trees 1 or, million trees or maybe taking out two lakh cars on the, out from the road in terms of policy for uh, let's keep ethanol aside in terms of all the other biofuel policy how is the landscape where are we uh, in india basically you know uh, uh, majority of the policies are uh, in different different silos i yeah. can say so what we need is basically a centralized policy or integrated policy where all can be cross traded from one platform to other platform So, how does MSME startups like you fit into this? Isn't this all a big game between OMCs and distillers? See, if you see government policies, uh, you know, government is supporting a lot to MSME players. Like there are various shops available from the government and all. But yes, uh, MSME players will always be uh, in difficult field compared to like you know organized players. Or-